So this is Riley Wooden uh, making this video for my Tech 1010 class. And this week we're talking about the Space Shuttle Challenger um, and what went wrong with that, as well as some of the morals and ethical things that went on. Um, so to start off, the first question, what could NASA have done differently? Um, I think there's a few things that NASA could have done differently. Um, it sounds like from reading the article that there was a few things that they knew of, such as the O-rings, um, that they could have been more aware of. Um, it kind of sounds like they kind of shrugged it off. The O-rings was one that they knew was a problem already, but, um, it got past protocol or whatever. Um, they didn't really worry too much about it, as well as the weather. They knew that it was going to be colder than they had planned, I think. Um, and so they could have done more to to prepare for the O-rings, as well as with the weather, they could have... I mean, I know it's a big thing that lots of money is put into and um, got to meet deadlines, but I think people's lives are more valuable than than a rocket ship going off. Just me speaking, but... Um, things can be pushed back or changed so that lives can be spared. Um, I think that's more important no matter what the cost, whatever it may be. Um, and so that those are just two things that could have been done differently. They could have been more aware of the O-rings and fixing and making sure those, especially with all the technology that we now have, um, there could have been tests, more tests put into place more practice runs. I, I know they can't really like practice run a spaceship shutting off, but they can do, um, they can like do it over technology. Um, and so I think there, there could have been more things done to make sure of the safety of the passengers um, and make sure that the spaceship was really ready to, to go off um, to space. Um, the second question, what should Roger boys jolly I don't know how to say his last name. What could he have done differently in answering this question? Keep in mind that his age, the prospect of finding a new job if he was fired was slim. Um, he also had a family to support. <coughs> um, and that is, that's a huge thing. You've got to take care of yourself. Um, but I don't know. He's put in a tough situation because he, people being in charge of this, being the engineer, um who warned about this i think he should have pushed maybe a little more um to to make sure that the spaceship was more prepared um to launch um of course you can only do so much but everyone has that gut feeling and if that gut feeling is is warning you that something's wrong then i think you should go with your gut and and do what you need to do in order to protect those whose lives are in the hands of, in your hands, their lives are at your stake. I can't remember what it's called, but um, the third one, what do you think, or what do you as a future engineer see the responsibilities in relation to both being loyal to management and protecting the public welfare? Um, kind of like I said, I think lives are more important than um, what's going on. We should care more about the people who are sending up, sending up to space. Um, and then the mission itself and so we need to make sure that they're protected um, and of course do it with the respect of of not spending more money than you need to but i think making sure that you spend the money necessary and have the precautions necessary to to keep these people alive um, who we are putting in dangerous dangerous missions um, and they're they're volunteering themselves as well i mean there's a teacher on there that was a huge thing and and she's gone because of mistakes that were made um, and so I think always take the needed precautions and follow your gut feeling if you feel like something's wrong to make sure that that people are safe of course accidents are going to happen but you can take the necessary steps so thanks for watching